morning. How's everybody doing this morning? I'm doing great. I picked my feet up and my parcel started spinning. <laughs> I would have just went with this. <laughs> just was going to go all the way around. Oh my goodness. How is everybody doing this How morning? How is everybody doing? Let's see who's joined us. Oh my gosh. I can get this. Is everybody safe? There were oh, tornadoes. Oh gosh, there were terrible tornadoes. Yeah, last Ida week. Bell, Powderly. Yeah, there was something was... like a smaller-ish tornado touched down close F1. to here. F1. F1. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. I mean, it's not good, but that one the other day or was a zero. Was it Friday? Yeah. The Friday, the sirens started going off. We knew it was supposed to be a bad weather day, so we were prepared. Lots of businesses closed but, early. Um, we decided to stick it out here. Oh gosh, I didn't know what that was. Anyway, she's hearing um, voices again. Um. Anyway, so um, the, <laughs> we had the dogs here because we, you know, didn't want them to be at home if something happened, and it was crazy. The sky got green, and the sirens started sounding, and we got the dogs in the bathroom and like a true Oklahoman, I went out on the porch and watched. Um, We're all like, but anyway, it kind of went on either side of us, but it was a little dicey. But between our here in our home, there was an EF1 out on the highway. So um, good morning to up. Marlene Schwackhart, Kathy Goff, Cindy Wilson, Bobby Quinn, Sandra Hagen, Carol Dunstan, Sue Kenyon, Vicki Luna, Peg Miller, and Jeannie Atkins, thank good you guys for morning, joining good us. Good morning. Um, so has everybody um, subscribed to our YouTube channel? If you have, you've noticed we've been putting up some new content over this last week. Um, just trying some things out. Let us know what you like, what you'd like to see. Yeah. And if you haven't already subscribed, go over there and subscribe to it. Hit the bell so lots you know. Lots of things going on. You know when there are lots and lots. new things. Some of these rumbly little Just pull that up. That way we won't have to worry. Somebody comes up, we'll know it. Somebody's like about to run through the window. Yeah, I know. Um, crazy these days. <clears throat> good morning to yeah, Sue Kenyon. I just got the notification that you subscribed. Thank right, you, thank you. Right. Good morning to Pam Duffy, Pauline Hilger. Good morning, Sylvia Bonani. Thank you guys for joining us. Good morning. So what did all y'all do this weekend? Anything exciting? Um, trying to think. I have some things I want to work on, but I haven't got any sewing projects started. I have just been all over the place this last week, just all over the place. But I have at night uh, worked a little bit on a puzzle because Charity, I one of those things, I always get a puzzle to take a long time. You know, we're going to work on this for a month. And, and then I realized does. we were having people over last night to eat and the, the puzzle had to get done. <laughs> so I had to finish it up, and which I was really excited about. It was fun, but they helped me finish it up. Yeah, some so. of our friends stopped by to see us, and we all just sat and finished the puzzle. Which was great because I was having a hard time. I was like, some of these pieces belong to another puzzle. Do you ever feel like that, that they either left pieces out? Every puzzle I open, I'm like, all these pieces aren't here, and some of these belong to another puzzle. <laughs> and I'm going to have to call the manufacturer and tell them. It's a really neat puzzle. It was um, Hostess. So it was all the Hostess wrappers through the years. See if I can find. It's really neat. Um, it was fun. I, I mean, I worked on about this much of it. I worked on it for about 15 minutes yesterday, I but still it was have fun. a few internet things going on with my computer. So I'm not able to do some of the work that I normally do on the weekend on my computer. But that's the puzzle. I took a picture of it finished. I was so excited. Um, <clears throat> good morning, Kathy Goff. Kathy, I saw on Facebook that you had your daughter and your four granddaughters with you. That seems like you guys had a lot of fun. Oh, wow. That's Happy awesome. Happy y'all got to do that. Um, this also made me want a Twinkie really bad. <laughs> I did buy some Christmas tree cakes. They but they're really little good. Debbie, not Hostess, but they were Anything would have worked. Um, good morning to Marlene Schweikart, Brenda, Belinda Purvis. Marlene Schweikart was at the Houston Quilt Show. Oh, wow. Vicki and Cindy were in Durant staying with granddaughters. They heard sirens and went to the cellar. That's crazy. Um, thank you, Pauline. Pauline likes this quilt behind us. So this is a panel. What's yes. this collection called? Christmas Joys. Joys. Um, Riley Blake. It is Christmas Joys. Christmas Joys. Good call. And so this panel is on our website. So this is the panel. It's a 24 inch panel. And then Diane put a little bit of the yardage with it and a charm pack. And what is the pattern? 
uh, Hillside Charm. Hillside Charm. I think that's yeah. right. Um, it's a yeah. Via Rosa two dollar pattern. This is all available on our website. I don't What's really have special it as a today. Kit. 10% off your purchase of $50 or more. Your purchase has to be $50 before any shipping or tax kicks in for the discount to kick in, but it is an automatic discount and you don't need to keep on code and, for it. And also, what is our standard shipping rate in the United States? $5. Yeah. Not six? It's that. not six. Okay. Not yet. Okay. It's five So still. we have ridiculously cheap shipping. <laughs> Just wanted you guys to know that. Ridiculous. Same as Missouri Stock um, Quilt Company. I think they went up. They went up to business accounts as of yet. I haven't seen they go. Really? They, they went up I to consumers. Um, so um, we pay maybe more than six dollars now. Yeah, in we Missouri. do. <laughs> so sure do. And then this pattern. Um, what is that? That's also a Via Rosa. So we did the table runner that matched Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. Yes. So that takes a charm pack and a and then like two yes. and a half inch. Or many charms if you've got yeah. many charms. I don't yeah, think they make many charms in that. Oh, sure. oh, so that segue. Um we posted a picture of the winner from the Houston quilt show. She used three Janome machines to do the winning quilt. I used three Janome machines, almost the same three, to do this and table cover. She used three Janome machines that we have here in the shop. Does that make me as good a quilter as the winner of the Houston quilt well, show? Absolutely. I think if, so. If that's what you want to think, then I think that so. is right. We use the same machines. We get it done <laughs> the same way. But if you are interested in the machines that the the winner of the Houston quilt show used, you can come see them in our shop. Come you can see sew them. on them. You can see how you like them. Um. What card? Oh, some she's replying to somebody else. She's like, I didn't think I talked about a card game. Good morning to JBL Banks. Good morning, we love you. Um, good morning to Joni Weisenbach and Linda Coey, Holly Oliver, Terry Gilbert. Um, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Karen Bush had a, That's exactly right. Christmas puzzle out on the table in the way of everything at Christmas family dinner. We all pulled chairs up and tried to finish it. We now have learned better in just playing cards. So our friends that came by, yeah. they said either just put another tablecloth over it or a, great idea. a piece of plexiglass. Just set a piece of plexiglass over it. And I thought, great. We really need to do that because yeah. it, you get in so much hurry to get the, you know, you want to take your time. Um, sometimes of an evening, if I just need to like, you know, just decompress. Oh, good morning to Ruth Medcalf. She said there is now a 60,000 piece puzzle. I'm going to make an executive decision and say Kristen isn't allowed to get one of those because she will go ever loving crazy. Um, I like a thousand piece puzzle. <laughs> good morning to Debbie Gray. Thank good you. Morning. We are glad the tornadoes missed us too. It was um, a little crazy. We <laughs> actually um, have some good friends that had some damage in Ida Bell. Um, yeah. Ida Bell really got hit really hard. Ida Bell and, and Powderly, um, Texas got hit very hard. It's it, pretty it's, devastating mm -hmm. there. So keep those people in yeah. your prayers. That's that's a hard time of year, especially Absolutely. for that to come through. Um, let's see. Good morning to Margaret Topas. Good morning. Good morning. It was a fun puzzle. Everybody said it looked like it a fun was. Puzzle. Charity's the one I was when I was getting some birthday stuff and she put it in my cart and she was like, you need to get this puzzle. So I was like, okay, I usually get a Christmas puzzle. And but it was fun. It really was. It was fun. But it was challenging enough, you know, to keep your interest too. Um, so, but not see. too challenging. To okay, frustrate Karen you. Bush says the card game they play now is Phase Ten. I never played Phase Ten, but we need to try it. Yeah, we like Skip Bow. Yeah, any at I don't all? Think like I've Skip ever Bo? played Phase Ten, but that does sound fun. Good morning to Jackie Beatty, Tina Shepard. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Sandra Hagen said somebody in her town hit five of the six Powerball jackpot numbers. Um, it wasn't her. I I don't. Keep Wasn't up it up to like a much, billion it's dollars? Like a or lot of money. Yeah, it was a lot. I, somebody on 1. my, um, somebody that I'm Facebook friends with, I saw said, "What does it mean if you got two draws or something on your ticket?" And somebody was like, "It means that those two lines are good for the next." I don't know. I don't understand I don't it. So, um, at the Astros also won. Astros won um, the World Series. That was a really good game. I don't know if you're a Phillies fan. You probably didn't think it was a good game, but it was a good game. And then the Chiefs won in overtime last night, and that was an excellent game. And it was, like, truly a nail-biter. I was texting with Lisa while we watched it, and it was, like, I said I tested the limits of my manicure because it was 
truly a nail biter, but it was good. We, um, I went to bed. Yeah. I was so crazy exhausted and I wanted to be able to do the things today. Well, so I, was I did tired, feel bad because I really was into the game, but I was, I just wanted to see bad. it. And, um, we, Dana was there. And so we stayed up and watched it and, um, it, we had a lot of fun. It was, it was a good game. We watched, um, Indiana Jones in the last crusade. Cause I'd kind of forgot about the game. And so I was, I, when I remembered it, I was like, Oh, great. We've got, cause it was halftime of the game. And I was like, we've still got like, I don't know, a little bit of time left in this movie. And I was just hoping it, the movie would get over by the fourth quarter. Well, so it was still pretty, pretty early in the third quarter when the movie went over. So we went right to the game and I mean, Oh man, we were up another two hours. It seemed like maybe it was an hour and a half. I just that. crashed. And then I still had work that I had to do for today, like yeah. on the website. So I was up till one in the morning. <laughs> I did not. I lost my extra hour. I gambled my extra yeah. hour and I lost it. Last night, did, so. When did I take Jakey to the vet? <sighs> When's there a Thursday? So it's, they haven't heard about my Jakey to the vet. No. So I had to take Jakey, the cat. He um, got bit by another cat. It'd been several days and he was getting better. His legs swelled up and he looked basically miserable. And so I thought he was getting better and then it got worse. So it's kind of an ordeal. I don't know how the vet is where you guys are at, but they do a lot of business. We and have the best vet. They're great. Here. They are Fantastic. the best. They've been, I mean, our family's been going to this vet since 1976. Yeah. Best. I mean, all the vets in town are good. Yeah. It's not yeah. a bad one, but we um, just, we've had a long history so, with this one, but they're good. All the vets are good. So there's a lot of demand on all the vets. They're fairly reasonable too. And people come up from Texas to use them and you cannot get an appointment. You have to just go like, you know, the lottery, you just go, if you make it in at the right time and they take so many. <laughs> yes, it is. So they this don't is very do inconvenient for me, especially if I have an emergency because, you know, I have to work and do the things. So last time I came, I think at eight o'clock and I was there till after noon, like between 12 and one. So I got up, I got there at seven o'clock with the cat in his little backpack. And um, so we sat there and they open at eight. So they open at eight. And so I, I was the third person there. So I, I got on the list. I'm number three on the C, the, um, the exam side, because there's a surgery side. Yeah. They only take 20 surgeries, but there's tons of people. So I get in the door. Like you don't always even get in the lobby. So I actually got in the first group. They take them in groups of like 20 and then they start over again. So I'm, I'm number three in the first group. I sat by, I was there for two and a half hours. Um, so I, I sat by a lady who raises corgis and a beautiful corgi named Huckleberry. He's about three years old. Oh, I fell in love with him. He's very much built up like Lulu. And I started thinking maybe she and is. And that girl corgi. that raises corgis missed her opportunity not having a corgi puppy there with I her because Kristen is notorious for coming home with animals. From I made sure to follow her. I asked lots of questions like because she Huckleberry. Followed her on Facebook, not like out the door in her car. No, we said night. we were there for a long time. <laughs> so anyway, we're waiting. And so I'm thinking, okay, bada boom, bada bing. I'll be there by the time work, you know, we open. And I still had to take the cat home or I would have him all day. So anyway, this did not happen because two emergencies came in and no, I think three emergencies three. came in. They were short staffed and then two people had to put down their pets, which was very sad. And I did talk with one lady and Mom hopefully and comforted her a little bit. And so, um, so it was two and a half hours before Jakey got to see Dr. Connor. Then Jakey in true form and fashion, he's very, very friendly. He's a lover, not a fighter, and he's very sensitive, emotional. You shouldn't know this much about your he's cat. He's a baby. But so he's why very little vocal, baby? and I do know this about this cat, and so do the vets. They go to, he's very sweet, loving on him, and they give him the shot. It's no Corky biggie. <laughs> no biggie. And he squeals and carries on and caterwauls, and they're laughing at him. And they're like, dude, this does not hurt you. It is, I've never had a cat act like this. And he's just like, what? Wow! And just and they're like, he's the most dramatic cat, and they laughed and laughed at him. But anyway, he's fine now. And they said so. His leg, the place busted. I won't be too gross. Um, but he healed True so way. well. What happened was he healed so well that it healed over before it all kind of got cleared out. So that's why he needed these shots. And um, but he's great now. He's very feisty. I sang a little song to him this morning and the dogs just looked at me and he bounced and jumped Jake and hopped. does everything at full speed. Yeah. And I've never seen a cat that made the whole property his own. Like he goes 
like you'll see him at the back door and then 30 seconds later he's at the front door yeah and then so mom was talking to him Here. on the front porch and then i went back out into the dog pen and all of a sudden he showed up jumped around the corner of the house and was like yeah super star. <laughs> he um so the dogs like it when I sing to him, and I like to think that they're paying attention that Do it's a new like song. It I think they, so. But Jakey was like very much acting it out. So I was doing. It was. I heard you. I was getting <laughs> ready. It was Ruthie and, and I was like, with a cat named Jake and a cat named Amy, Amy too. Anyway. I thought I was rolling my hair, and I was like, I'm gonna pretend like I'm not hearing this. <laughs> this is... That cat could talk. What tells he tell about Ruthie and Lulu and Amy was well, but the cat was cool, and he, he never, never said a mumbling word. Anyway. Um, Ruth Medcalf said one of her cousins met his future wife at the vet. She was working oh. there. It's a meet cute. Well, let's hope I don't meet my. Cousin. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Tina Shepherd. Good morning, Helen Stevenson. Vicki Luna says you're a corgi stalker. I'm just going right on past all that. Oh. Um, good morning to Vicki Friedel and Kathy Chang Derek, Vicki Luna, um, Elizabeth Spencer, Cindy Hicks, Linda Purvis said go Astros. Good morning to Kathy Baker, Cindy Hayes. Good morning, good morning. Sylvia Bonani has a puzzle keeper. It's similar to a portfolio that you build on and can close and store while in progress. Has anybody used those yes. ones that roll up? I want that for Christmas. Puzzles make Carol Dunstan nervous. How Kristen does puzzles makes me nervous. Good morning to Julia <laughs> Mahaffey. <laughs> um, Pauline Hilger loves her Janome sewing machines, and she just got the CM17. And we love the CM17. And if you want to be like Pauline, you can come in here and see a CM17 too. Yeah, you can. It is great. Everybody be more like Pauline. Um, loads of fun. Um, good morning to Joe Cropley. Good morning. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube yes, channel. Yes. Good morning to Melody Bensley. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited that it's flannel weather, she said. Um, jacket. So let me, just, have jacket. let me just tell you something about flannel weather. We got like four more warm days, including today, yeah. then it is going to be cold for us Southern Oklahoma gals, like highs in the low 50s for the next two weeks. It's what I call the animals. I tell them it's stinky cold. When we don't like something, we say, mm, that's stinky, stinky cold. Um, yeah. Belinda Purvis says she has not tried the roll up mat yet. Julia Mahaffey has a corgi. I fell in love with this corgi. Huckleberry was the sweetest dog. He was just really well behaved and really smart. And um, I think she's rainbow corgis. What is it? Um, I don't know. Tina, I it turns out I already followed Jake her. Jake is a drama queen. Oh he my gosh, black. you have no idea. I and I thought it was just me, but the vets were like, "Are you kidding me?" And the vet tech was like, "He is the biggest drama." We, queen. I'm sure we've talked about this before, but. A, few years ago we had a stray dog Show come up Barry. that we adopted as our own for like a month and then I think his family got him back because we saw him one day he was one of our more distant neighbors and we saw him and he was chained to his porch I think he had left him for a month they found him and he okay came back. so this is Huckleberry and Maggie and they're gonna have puppies Christmas puppies that'll be ready for Valentine's Day and um that is a cute puppy yeah oh if they're Texan or rainbow porkies I think no. Anyway, he was that. a sweetheart. Um, so anyway, this dog we had, I don't know what he was. I think he was some sort of like border collie mix. Oops. Accidentally took a picture. We called him Riggs. Yeah, he was the Riggs. best dog. He was so cute, but when we he was a whiner. when he came up, he had ticks in his ear. I assume he'd been out in the pasture. Cattle pastures. I think. And he had a lot of ticks in his ear. And you didn't even have to touch him. If you got close to him with the tweezers, he'd go, Woo! <laughs> and he was the biggest baby. And we were like, Riggs, come on, because we were trying to take care of him. And he would just whine. And dad was like, We're not even touching you, boy. Just let us get the. And he was like, Poor little dog. Jake. I knew he was sick because he, you know how when you're sick and like you want to shower, but you also don't want the water to touch your skin because you just feel that bad? So I would go to pet him and he normally wants to be petted. He's like, 
don't, don't touch me just a little bit. No, don't, don't touch me so hard. Anyway, I knew he was really sick. He was very fluffy. He just sits there like this, <laughs> like a cranky little man. So <laughs> Joe, much better. Joe Cropley said it's 20 degrees there this oh morning. Oh, my gosh. Good morning to Jerry Pratt. Glad you finally caught us live. Good morning. Carol Good morning. Dunson had a greyhound. That was a real drama queen. Oh, Good oh morning to goodness. Marilyn Ross. And Vicki Luna asked to see the poppy cotton layer cake on the table because the pictures were really pale on the side okay. so that's a good segue this into what we ought to be beautiful. doing this morning not talking yeah. about dogs and cookies where is the poppy cup <laughs> did we talk cake? about cookies we the were about cookies? to okay we'll do oh. that in a minute oh wow i did not get it on the table oh my gosh i was in the middle of putting stuff out here when you got distracted <laughs> butterfly Squirrel. Butterfly in the sky. I can fly twice as high. This is beautiful. <laughs> Quit singing. I love um, this. Poppy cotton. We have been waiting for this. We've had yeah. this on order for so long. Um, this is called Songbird Serenade. I've been watching this company. It's a small company. They're fairly new. Not been in business very many years. And I believe it was, is it two sisters? Like they started out of their garage Poppy and cotton. I have no idea. I think you just made that up. But anyway, um, stop me if I'm wrong. But it is a smaller company. It's beautiful stuff. A little bit hard to get. Not everybody has it. And like, if you see it, you got to get it. Like, they don't hang around very long. Like, oh so gosh. anyway, we've never kind of been in the flow. When I see something, I'm kind of behind. So we actually got in ahead of the game. We have, have a, a really great rep who um, a cut team. panel, huh? I do have one, but it's up on the wall. So okay. let's just unroll this. Okay, so we have. I'm gonna tell you all my idea. We have layer first. cakes, charm packs, jelly rolls, and yardage, three bolts, yeah. and one panel. It's so sweet. Now let me see if I, I put on the website. So this is a 24 inch panel, and I think this that's right. This reminds me of vintage hankies. It does. It is. That's what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Vintage hankies with yeah. birds, songbirds, songbird serenade. <laughs> it all makes sense. <laughs> um, is that not the cutest? It's so sweet. I'm gonna tell y'all in a second after we show the other stuff what my idea is that I want to do with inch this. Twenty-four-inch panel. I think this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we got stuck. <laughs> Clearance issues. <laughs> the camera got beep, stuck. Beep beep beep. Diane's back it up. <laughs> that was so funny. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't figure Sorry. out what she was doing, and then I'll be here all day. And she was stuck. Oh my goodness! Oh. See, <laughs> and I wonder why I'm sass jar. <laughs> yeah, I am so in the hole over that oh. sass jar. Is oh, this not gosh. the prettiest, prettiest stuff? Beautiful poppy cotton. Okay, Beautiful. what's your idea? Why well, didn't you show you the other stuff too? Oh, the the maid yeah. was okay. Okay, so. In the same stream, we have the beautiful little lammies, woolies. It's not wool; it's flannel. Woolly but it's flannels, very, very nice like, flannel. They're um, a luxurious, yes, flannel. In from the... Maywood, we have the layer cakes in these really sweet pastel colors, and I am just in love because you know I love to make rag quilts. We have the yardage, but here is what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So do you guys remember? And I still owe you a class on that, and I'm working at it because my life is crazy. But it's crazy good. Um, we put, we did the bullseye on the rag quilt. I kind of combined a rag quilt and a bullseye quilt. So here's what I want to do. So I want to take these 10 inch squares and I want to applique my songbird panel mm. on here and make mm. a little rag quilt with this. And I have not had time to do that yet. I'm going to try to find the time, but I think this would be the cutest baby gift you have ever seen. Wow. I'm I think it'd be so sweet. These two mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. together. As yeah. Well. yeah, it's pretty stuff. Mm -hmm. Pretty, Beautiful. pretty stuff. I absolutely love this stuff. Good morning to Charlevoix. And the, mm. the jelly roll. Okay, let's talk about the jelly roll. Do we have one of these unwrapped? Because this jelly roll is beautiful. Cindy Wilson loves and the color of your sweater this morning, Diane. Nice. <laughs> this is a sweater that Diane has custom embroidered on. Kristen, yeah. let's help. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Whoops. I'm not very good cameraman. Isn't that the cutest? Isn't that cute? And then she's put her name yes. on the lapel. Let's say you could do this with your CM17. You could. Or your S9. Oh um, my gosh. I love this. Hi, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So let me peel this off. Oh yeah. Everybody gosh. said these are good ideas. So what are we doing? Um, I'll show you too, because I was looking, I, I'll do that do later. Um, I'll grab this real quick. Um. 
Oh so my goodness. Okay. We're thinking about something. We don't have a good jelly roll quilt in the shop right now. And so if you don't have these, there's one for the 10 inch square. And this one was the newest one for the two and a half inch. It's Jenny Doan's Quilters Pre-Cut Companion. Really good patterns for two and a half inch strips. And um, so they've got some great ideas in here. I was thinking there's one that I really particularly liked. Maybe that one liked it too. Um, there was one of these and I just thought that what I'm making with this. Carol Dunson said, Diane, you are so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody you said, cute. nice to see you, Diane. You are cute. Okay, I think it was that one over there. That one's really cute. Maybe it was oh, that one. God. That's really cute. Um, anyway, this is great, but there's some good ideas for a jelly roll, and this is a really pretty jelly roll. Debbie Gray is working on a king size rag quilt right now, and oh. she, that layer cake would make a beautiful one. I think it so too. Would. Good morning to Alice Craig. Good morning, Alice. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning to Georgia Graham. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I love to find, you don't find a lot of flannel layer cakes. So I've told you guys this before, but I like three layers on my rag quilts. Oh, let's just go look at the haul at the rag quilt. We can talk about that. Um, so here's one done like that. We've got two in the haul. So, and it needs to be rolled again. I like to do a, which I did flannel on this one. So this is a bad one, but anyway, I did double flannel. I forgot and grabbed a flannel bolt, but I like to do like I would have done a solid cotton and then if I find a flannel layer cake, I can do the flannels on the front. Then I put my Osnaberg in the middle where it rags out real pretty, and it's a good weight. And um, I did end up doing flannel on that one, but this was a flannel layer cake on top, and you don't always find that. If I can't do a flannel layer cake, I do a regular layer cake, and I do flannel on the back. Now, Diane did what I'm talking about. We can come through here. Don't look at the kitchen. We got sewing machines everywhere. Um, okay, so the back of the, the house is wild. So anyway, Diane did what I'm talking about. So this is a regular layer cake on the back. This was the art gallery one, which is beautiful. I have this in my bedroom. And then um, she did the flannel layer cake on the front. And see how pretty the center and the ragging is there? You see all those colors coming through from the back. And then you've got all that with the Osnaberg with the pretty ragging. Anyway, it just makes a beautiful quilt. Um, we need to shake these a little bit better. But we got strings everywhere, but I love this collection. Um, this is the one uh, Christy Hart made me a quilt for my bedroom um, out of these colors. It's so soft and soothing, but this is Art Gallery and this is Maywood. So, very pretty stuff. We're backing back down the hall. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's wild in here right now. Really, really okay. wild. So since we've talked so much about the CM17, let's show them this yeah. quilt that we're quilting on do the that, CM17. Um, so we've got this demo going just to show you that you can quilt a decent size quilt here on, I mean, I talked to a lady the other day that's quilted king size quilts on her embroidery machine. This is a three yard. Yeah, so this is yeah. a three yard quilt. So that's, that's a good, so cool. decent twin size quilt. So we've been quilting, so we're just gonna watch it watch it quilt here for a second i'm just super pleased this is just looks just like it's been quilted on a long arm i mean i love this pattern this is something we downloaded from designs by juju and it is just my foot was loose well there we go technical <laughs> difficulty gonna have to replace the needle um real life <laughs> issues real life but anyway Anyway, <laughs> look at the look at the beautiful quilt. <laughs> I didn't realize the the foot had come loose. We broke a needle there, but real life technical difficulties. But um, I love this. I think it's so great, so so great. So this is this is me, a beginner embroiderer. <laughs> didn't check the tightness of my foot. That actually it brings up a very good point because when you do a lot, I don't care what you're doing. If you're doing a lot of sewing you're going yes. to vibrate the feet a little bit and we have been doing a lot on we there have, and you do need to randomly check those feet also it's really important to not just finger tighten which we didn't just finger tighten but a lot they of people just finger just... tighten the screws and you need to do that quarter inch turn with your screwdriver yes. because that will happen especially these really powerful machines they're going to vibrate that loose a little quicker so you need to take that screwdriver and just give it that quarter turn but anyway i'm loving this quilting on this machine it, that yeah it's good fabulous. big hoop is wonderful and it so does a great job fun. it is okay and if you just want to embroider 
this is amazing. Very easy to use. Yes, it is. That 550E. It's a great machine. Okay, let's. Okay. I've got the crumble cookies for this week pulled up. Okay. We and also want to say a big happy birthday to John and Tammy. Yes. We got family members got birthdays today. What are um, you doing? These, the, the placemats. Okay, right here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Show them, Vanna. So, so uh, you guys remember Diane did the fall placemats. Did out of this. Um, and so we, we took the fall ones down. She did the Christmas ones. We quilted we about those this last week. on the CM17. She actually pieced some of this stuff on the CM17. And then, um, she did the Christmas tree out of the newest yeah. quilts and more. Yeah. The newest quilts and more magazine. Um, she did that Which is a fun magazine. on the CM17. So fun, fun new Christmas stuff starting to show up in the shop. So this is the pattern. We talked about this a little last week from the new quilts and more great magazine. Be sure and get it. Okay. Let's see. Um, let me catch up with some hellos. Good morning to Kathy Aikens. Well, hello, Kathy. Well, um, hello. Joni Weisenbach's puppy took a bite out of the edge of her rag quilt. Oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, my. Uh, good morning to Vicki Sutphin and Adele Ward. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for joining us. Yes. I think I missed a few people. Okay. On that. I, let me show them one more thing. I okay. One more thing to show you. Oh, yeah. That's I'm so right. excited about this. So, the cat paw lint brush from Quilting Today. So, this is to clean out. It says uh, lifts lint from machines. Compact for easy storage, soft cat paw bristles. So you can clean out in your mach machine. Look at this. Okay. Ah, I love it. It's little bay toe beans. <laughs> These are also available on our website. It looks just like little kitty paws. <laughs> little bitty kitty paws. Uh, I love it. Great. It's fantastic. Great new stuff. I know. I kind of want to put my blush on with it too. So, but um, <laughs> it's really All really this nice. stuff's available on our website. You're going to get a discount <laughs> Look, today. Wow. If you have any trouble um, ordering at all ever or just need assistance, let if me know. You need me, call me. Oh no my goodness. How okay. Far. So let's talk about crumble cookies. Listen, baby. This week seems like it's going to be like the week, like the Ooh. week to meet. And I haven't had them in two, three. So no. we've got classic what? milk chocolate chip. Then we've got strawberry cake. A warm strawberry and vanilla cookie. Strawberry ones are pretty swirled good. Swirled with a fresh strawberry cream cheese frosting and sprinkling of delicate white chocolate curls. And I'm not a big strawberry fan, but their strawberry ones are good. Chocolate pumpkin cheesecake. Yes, A please. dark chocolate cookie filled with cookies and cream pieces. Yes. Then layered with a pumpkin spice cheesecake frosting and a splash of cookies and cream crumbs. That's the one right there. Cookie, yeah. cookie butter white chip. Oh, gosh. A warm cookie butter cookie packed with cookie butter pieces and creamy white chips and I it's got a bigger pan a big biscoff cookie on Ooh. top buckeye brownie mm, that's a repeat it's but it's good a decadent treat with layers of chocolate brownie buckeye peanut butter and a smothering of melted semi-sweet chocolate and classic pink I sugar this is just a good solid box right here i i'm thinking good it's going to be box. the You've one been thinking to be about trying to maybe this week is the one you should um carol dunson said it's a clemson tiger paw oh Go Clemson. Woohoo! I love it. Um, let's see. Yeah, everybody said that's so cute. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Toe beans, toe beans, toe beans, toe beans. Yeah. You feel like it should stamp tiger paws. I do. I do. Um so let's talk about winners. Winners from last week. So drawing winners from last week are Debbie Brady, Share Winner, Gene Smith Karuba. Thank you for watching, commenting, sharing. Please comment on this video within 24 hours for your chance to win next week. Let's talk about the Christmas box. The box is still not here, but I tell you what, we're going to put one of these in it. It's a little toe beans. So, um, anyway, we're going to, and it can be a box. I should have got one at Hobby we were Lobby. We at Hobby Lobby. Oh my gosh, Hobby Lobby had Christmas, 60% yeah. off. Anyway, this is going I to the got Christmas box. Three, you guys know the drill. Three little Christmas tree figurines. Like, I had to limit myself. But, oh my gosh, it was packed. It was packed. I Okay, so it's Aunt Gina's birthday this week. Yes, it's Aunt Gina's birthday. Happy birthday, yes. Aunt Gina. Happy birthday. So we... Um, the cake making stuff was 40% off and I have this idea. I have a lot of cake making stuff, but I didn't have the right colors because I want to make this dessert for her for her birthday. And let me show you. I don't know if you guys have seen these because 
it seems kind of easy to do. They're really pretty. I've never made one, but I've been seeing it for a while. And she likes, she always makes us desserts and she likes kind of fancy different stuff. Gooey, gooey. And so she always wants me to make her something. So I thought I would try something a little bit different this time. We did have. Um, so I don't know. This isn't a good We one, had so. on um, yesterday, um, James and Jaina went down to um, Cheesecake Factory in sure. Allen and got her her favorite Cheesecake Factory cheesecake, the Celebration Let's Cheesecake. And okay, we had that good. yesterday for her birthday. We so, Gina, Aunt Gina's getting a birthday week. Jaconda? It's a sponge cake. Have you guys heard of this Jaconda? Let me. Um, so these cakes, they're like layers of sponge cake with like frosting in between like thin layers like you make in a jelly roll and then you okay. you frost it and put like whoops not there lost it. it's just um oh, just showing that so then you put like macaroons on top and meringues and like flowers and jimmies and candies and sprinkles so I got the stuff to make this and um, it's not going to look, hers is going to be like pink and gold. I wanted to do like fall colors, like oranges and browns and yellows, but I couldn't find the right stuff. They didn't really have fall sprinkles. So I'm doing like golds and pinks and creams um, and browns. And anyway, I don't know. Good. Peg yeah. Miller turned 70 this week. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Peg. Peg. That's great. I know somebody else that turns that age in a couple She's of weeks. posing back there. <laughs> Mom, your mom's age. You're my mom's age. Our mom's age. Probably you're not. Probably your mom's age. You're you're my mom's age. <laughs> a good year. A good year. Oh my goodness. Good morning to Angie Sear. Thanks good for morning, joining good us. Oh my gosh. So we said did we say we're having a Black Friday sale here. We've told you that. Yes. Um, so we're gonna have an out, open I'm house. Fell off my stool. in December. <laughs> <laughs> um so um we're gonna have a lady from Janome here. We're gonna be doing that. Uh, more to come on that. Gotta make the flyers, gotta deal with the computer. The cinnamon rolls on Black Friday. Yes, there will. Yes, there will. And um, um, it'll be good. You come in the shop, make sure we send you a copy of the in store newsletter yes. in your bag. Yes. Make sure you don't miss it. Yep. Um we've got the Janome gift guide. There's a lot of good specials on machines. This is the time of year they offer a lot of bonuses, money off. So if you're interested in a machine, please get with me. Um, we offer synchrony financing. There's a lot of um, good deals right now, 0% for so many months, depending on the machine. So just check with us if you're interested on that. Um, Vicki um, Luna said, I hope you weren't surprising her with that cake. Listen, we are so busy right now. All surprises have gone out the window. Yeah. You're going to be lucky if your Christmas presents are wrapped this year. It's just going to be like, here's what I'm I got so you. I'm so scared of all the things that I'm not doing and forgetting right now. Oh, Adele Ward to... turned 70 this week. Too. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, it's a good week. Yeah. So what days are y'all's birthdays on? Mom's birthday is in... Um, December, the first part of December. She's about a month from now. But um Peg's is November twelfth. Aunt Gina's is November 9th. Yep. Gracie turns four on the eighteenth. Oh, oh, Gracie's four on the eighteenth. What kind of birthday party is Gracie having? Elsa, I think. Oh, Elsa. That'll be cute. Oh my goodness. Um Tina Shepherd is a brand new owner of a brand new yes, Janome S9. I hope you've been enjoying that. She says she's been reading her book before she dives in today. Oh, yeah. Adele's birthday is 11-11. That's Veterans oh, wow. Day, right? Yes, it is. Um, I have a good friend. Her birthday is on the 11th. Yep. Um, so, let's see who else. What else we got going on? Anybody have anything exciting happening this week? I'm going to try to get things done. And Me so, too. and... I have so many loose ends I need to tie up this week. Many things. I think my first two sunbonnet suit. Yes. So Diane has started a sunbonnet suit embroidery. Did you get the pattern from Juju? Yes. You get? She got yes. the pattern from Designs so by Juju, cute. and it's so cute. I'm sure we'll, we will be showing yes. you that. Yeah, we will. Yeah. It's very cute. Yeah. I would like to do one of those myself. Yeah. This Adele was... Ward said 52 was a good year. Yes, it yes, was. Yes, it was. <laughs> Has the sound been good today? Can you guys hear us? I've probably been screaming because I talk Ooh, yeah. loud anyway, and then they're right here, and I've probably busted out everybody's eardrums. Oh, my gosh. With the, So I, I haven't actually gone back and watched the, the full videos. It? It's just on ours. Okay. Um, 
when with the when we use these microphones can you guys hear when like mom and diane talk they're not mics. can you hear that very well in the background because i've been kind of trying to repeat what they say and just in case you're not catching it let me know we're still okay we're still testing stuff out is it everybody's yeah, video quality decent yeah, sound is good sound is good tina says he is good um oops, peg nope. says yes they go. can hear Right. Yes. Yeah, you so they okay, can hear you are. guys when you talk. So they're pretty good. They're the best um cheap microphones that Amazon has to offer. Woohoo! I got them on Prime Day. <laughs> Two <sighs> for the price of one. Charlotte Bott's brother is a 52 model. Also. All right. Debbie Grace says they can she can hear everyone. Right. Oh my goodness. Well, I feel like we're getting done a little early today. Oh probably because I talk so fast. We do talk pretty fast. Oh my goodness. Well, y'all be sure to continue to watch our youtube minute and um yeah in the meantime stay warm stay happy stay, stay caffeinated <laughs> we'll see you next monday <laughs>